Today, we'll explore how ships are held close to the jetty in port during cargo operation, even with winds and port tides. It is done by mooring operation, which is the process of fastening a vessel to any floating or shore-based structure, ensuring it remains stationary. These structures to which the ship is tied may include buoys, other ships, berths, jetties, piers, wharves, etc. This involves the use of various mechanisms, such as mooring lines, winches, and fenders. Mooring lines, typically made of steel or high-grade synthetic materials, are chosen for their strength and elasticity. They have a safe working load and braking strength, ensuring safety during operations. These lines are controlled by mooring winches located onboard the ship in the fore and aft parts. Driving systems, powered by electrical or hydraulic motors, provide the necessary torque to operate winches efficiently. Vessel fittings secure mooring lines to the vessel structure, featuring elements like chocks, bollards, and fair leads designed according to industry standards. Fenders constructed from rubber, wood, or synthetic polymers protect both the vessel and shore structures by absorbing impact energy during mooring. Effective mooring operations require seamless collaboration between the forward and aft mooring teams, as well as clear communication with the bridge and dock personnel. All crew members must wear appropriate personal protective equipment to ensure safety. Before arrival, factors such as the nature of the berth, environmental conditions, and cargo operations must be considered. The master outlines the berthing plan, including the number and order of lines. Different types of mooring lines include breast lines, headlines, spring lines, and stern lines, each serving a specific purpose in securing the vessel. Breast lines run perpendicular to the ship's front and back, keeping the ship from moving away from the berth. Headlines connect from the front of the ship to the shore at about a 45 degree angle. Spring lines run nearly parallel to the ship's front and back and prevent it from moving forward or backwards. Stern lines are similar to headlines, but they connect from the back of the ship to the shore. Efficient mooring patterns position headlines and springs close to the vessel's fore and aft line, maximizing line efficiency and minimizing angles to the jetty. Mooring lines not on dedicated winches should be transferred onto bits. Throughout the port stay, weather conditions, tide and current ranges, and traffic movement must be monitored and recorded to ensure safe mooring. The ship's crew needs to continuously monitor the tightness of the mooring line especially when cargo or bunkering operations are going on, which affects the draft and list of the ship. Any changes in these conditions may slacken or tighten the mooring rope. A too tightened rope can snap and act as an iron whip, which can injure or even kill a person. Regular inspection and maintenance of mooring equipment are essential, including checking for damage, wear, and proper tension of mooring lines. All mooring lines should be protected from potential damage when not in use, ensuring their reliability during operations. By adhering to best practices, maritime professionals can ensure the smooth and secure mooring of vessels in any port. Subscribe to our channel for more educational content on maritime operations and remember to press the bell icon. Thank you for watching.